Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Sunwing, the Chinese Wings Around the, Glo the Globe Rally Racer. That's a hard name to say, Wings Around the Globe Racer. Got that time though. She was released first time in 2014 and I believe she was not re-released after that. Let me go ahead and check that real quick. And, oh no, she was actually released in a three and a four pack, both in 2014, uh, as well as a seven pack. And then re-released again, once again, in 2016, the final year of the planes line. So she is not exactly uncommon. She's a uh, pretty cheap. You can get her for maybe $10, $15 on eBay. I've had her for quite a while. And she's got a pretty cool design with the, the yellow and the red, which are typically colors associated with China. So it makes sense since she is the Chinese representative. She has the eight, her number is eight. She has it on her wing, her, her top wing. And I actually absolutely do not like that font at all. The, the, the outside looks fine, but on the inside where the hole is basically just filled up with those lines, it looks pretty bad. Love the checkered, pa the checkered pattern, always love that. She, her, she has a code. Um, one of the date codes, I'm not, or I don't know exactly what to call it. One of the codes that's on all the cars is like really high up to the point where you can almost, you can almost, yeah, when she's sat down, you can actually kind of see it. That's pretty interesting. She is smiling. Got a little smirk. It's your eyes through there. The yellow bottom wings are just plain yellow, but on the underside, they have the checkered pattern once again. She has like a dragon on both sides of her. Once again, another Chinese symbol. You have, uh, what does that say? You have Ryan Aviation, I believe that says. I, I think I've seen that on some other planes. Don't quote me on that. You have eight once again. Have her code, which is AL120701C. And then you have two other logos. I can't quite tell what they are. Or three, actually. It's also a little star by the dragon. Or is that a star? I can't quite tell. It's very small. It's on both sides, so it's not like a chip or anything. Or it's like a flower. And another logo there. It's very hard. I cannot read that. There's plenty of other die casts from the Cars and Planes line that have the double-decker wings, such as Vanderbird. I have reviewed Vanderbird on the channel before. I believe I mentioned this in a recent video that it turns out that was a prototype, and I have traded that off now, and I will have a, a normal Vanderbird hopefully coming in within the next few months. So let's compare her to the other five uh, double-decker winged planes I have. Let's start off with probably the furthest from her Bessie C. Flywell appearing at the Piston Peak Fuselage in Plains Fire and Rescue. Nothing really too similar other than the fact that they both have the double-decker wings. None of the design is similar. They're completely different models. Even the wings are different. You do have like the same little setup where it's two straight poles towards the outside and then you have two diagonal poles towards the inside that connect to the plane itself. She has, has the tennis ball, always a cool touch. I did review her a couple years ago, I believe. How about next up we go with Barney Storman. A little bit closer. Still not similar at all. Similar in some ways, I guess. He once again has that two straight lines and then a V pattern. He has three little, uh, what do you call the things on the propeller? Is it just called a propeller? He has three things on the propeller compared to Sunwing's two. A lot of the planes are rounded compared to Sunwing, who is a racing plane. And of course, racing, gotta have aerodynamics. So it's not gonna be round, it's gonna be sharp, it's gonna be almost rectangular, triangular, those kind of shapes. Here's Props McGee who is basically a slightly larger version 
a Farney Storming in a different paint job. He's also like really heavy. I don't understand. Because Barney weighs like nothing at all. Props is pretty heavy. I don't know if it's like the material they made it out of. I do like props. I'll have to review him sometime. He's a pretty cool player. One of my favorite tune stack casts. Now we get to one that's almost almost there. You have lead bottom, of course. More rounded. The wings were more rounded. You can see that there. It's kind of like one of those bracelets you like slap on your wrist and it'll automatically close. More rounded back there. I guess the only thing you can kind of see is this. I think that's called the rudder. It's kind of similar towards the top, but even you can see on lead bottom it's curved. And sun wing, it goes like straight down, diagonally. Then finally, we have one that is actually the same, or at least an extremely similar model. We have Firebird, of course. Vanderbird is also the same model, but do not currently have a Vanderbird. This is Firebird. There's a whole lot of birds when it comes to this model, I guess. See there, got the whole, the whole wing set up. Got the same tail slash rudder, whatever it's exactly called. Not an aviation guy, really. Don't know that much about it. And they are, yeah, as you can see, pretty much the same. Of course, differing paint jobs. I do like Firebird, who I've also reviewed sometime recently. Sunwing actually was supposed to be released in a gift pack, if you remember the Plains gift packs that came with the tent and also the Pity. She was supposed to be released in that one with her Pity Mod Azui, but it was cancelled, unfortunately. So that's one less Pity we have. There was a few prototypes that I know have circulated around a tiny bit. Or maybe that's Ulfbert. Ulfbert, I know, has circulated a tiny amount. I don't know if Sunwing has, but I know there's at least... or. Matazui, rather. I know there's at least one or two Matazuis owned by people. Apart from, like, the prototype image we saw of Matazui. And that is it for Sunwing. Pretty cool, pretty underrated release. I just love the way the yellow and the red goes together. It always looks nice. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.